What's up guys, this is Cody here. And if you guys haven't heard, iOS 10 Beta 2 has been released and I have it here to show you guys some of the new features. Of course, if you guys wanna download iOS 10 Beta 2 for yourself, then be sure to check the description below. I'll have a link to a video that shows you how to install Beta 1, but it's the exact same process. You even install the exact same profile and then you can upgrade to iOS 10 Beta 2. But in this video, of course, I wanted to go through all the changes and there are a ton of changes. Now this might not be a conclusive list, but there's definitely a ton of changes that I'm gonna be showing you you in this video aside from just bug fixes and stability improvements so I don't want this to be a crazy long video so let's go ahead and get started with these features all right so first up let's start with the lock screen so if we go to the lock screen here you can see that we have a little lock right there in the status bar which is nothing new to iOS 10 beta 2 but if we go ahead and unlock our device you'll notice that it says unlocked right up there in the status bar and that's something that's new even just the overall animations are a whole lot smoother in this new beta. That's from opening up applications to closing them to basically anything else that you'll do. If we swipe over here to the folders, the folder animation has actually changed just a little bit. You'll notice if we tap on that, that nothing actually zooms in the background or anything like that. It just basically expands that folder right there. And you'll also notice just the look of the folder is a little bit different as well. So if you take a look side by side from beta one to beta two, you can see that difference with a little less transparency in the background of the folder there. If we're on the first page of our springboard here and we swipe over, you'll notice that we also get a new animation when we open up the spotlight. So if we tap on that, we get a nice little animation to open that up. And a bug that was bothering me is the ability to not use a spotlight on the springboard, but you can see just swiping down actually works in beta two now. So if you're having that issue, you won't anymore. Also hopping into the clock, you can see that the stopwatch has gone back to digital. And if we swipe over here to the right, then we actually get that stopwatch graphic. We also have a small UI change to bedtime right here. So you can see when we toggle this off, it just kind of fades that out rather than hiding it all together. If we go back to the uh, spotlight over here, or the widgets page, we'll tap cancel, we'll swipe all the way down. You'll notice that we actually have weather information provided by the Weather Channel LLC. So that's just a small tweak that they added to the bottom of the widgets page. I also read that the text size in the music app actually changes due to the text size that you set here, which I didn't know was a problem in beta one, but you can see that the text size has actually changed right here. Again, if we swipe over here and make it a little smaller, it should change dynamically here uh, if we open it back up. So you can see right there. Hopping into the settings here and tapping on display and brightness, you'll notice that a few options have moved. So we now have auto lock inside of display and brightness. And we also have text size in display and brightness. Also in the first beta, we had some issues with the widgets where they were basically cut off content. But you can see that we now have variable height uh, for these widgets that way that we don't have any content that's cut off or anything. It all looks very clean, even though the widgets are a little bit bigger than other widgets. Hopping into mail here, you'll notice that the filter icon has changed as well. So this used to be just a funnel, but now it's a circle with some uh, variable lines that get smaller as you go down. Now hopping into Safari, if we hold down on the tab button here, you'll also notice that we have not only to close tabs, which is something that was in beta one, but we also have the option to open a new tab right there. Same thing goes for in uh, this view as well. If you tap and hold on done, you'll also get that option right there for a new tab. One unfortunate thing that they did in beta two is they took away that really nice keyboard sound effect. And we're back to the original clicking. I really like the beta one sound effects for the keyboard. I'm hoping that they're gonna bring that back. Also, when you 3D touch on an app, you'll notice that the text is actually quite a bit thinner. In the widgets page, you can tap to edit and you'll notice that we actually have a music widget. So if we tap on that to add it and we tap done, you notice that we have a music widget right here that we can actually play our playlist. So if we go ahead and tap on that, it will start playing right there for us. Also swiping up on the control center, it actually doesn't bounce quite as much as it did previously, as you can see right there. And you can see what it looks like right here. This is beta one. If we swipe up, you can see that it bounces like that. It's also being reported that colors are richer and darker throughout the OS. Now I haven't actually been able to tell much of a difference. So if it is, it's probably a pretty slight change, but at the same time, I don't think it's a change that too many people are gonna be worried about. If you pull down the notification center, you'll notice that this changed from missed to recent. Also, if we swipe left in the notification center, we'll get our widgets right here. If we open up our messages here, and we 3D press on a message and we swipe up, you can see that we have some preset 
answers that we can just instantly reply to, or we can make a custom one just by tapping right here. Another bug in iOS 10 beta one was fixed asking Siri what your name is. So here we go. What's my name? So you can see that it didn't work in beta one, but it is working here in iOS 10 beta two. Also here in the music app, you can see that we have new icons. Uh, previously, these were actually blank. Also, when we open this up, you'll notice that you have a different colored, just a pink cloud for the download button here. So previously in iOS 10 beta one, if you sent any type of handwritten animated uh, message like I have right here, then it wouldn't actually send. But now it'll send to people not on iOS 10, but it just shows up as a picture. As you can see right here, it's actually not going to animate. Also here in the health app, you can see there's actually an organ donation portion that you can sign up to be a part of if you want to. Also, if we open up the notes and we actually go inside of a note, you'll notice that there's actually a, an option to add people to this note. So if you do that, it's basically like sharing that note with particular people. Also, the home application here has gotten a slight redesign as well. If we swipe up here on the control center, you'll see that if we 3D press on the flashlight, this is actually changed to low light, medium light, and bright light, rather than bright intensity, medium intensity, and low intensity, as well as the icons here. Same thing goes for the uh, clock app. You'll notice that we have some actual new icons here as well. If we open up AirPlay, we also have some new icons here for connected devices as well as HomeKit devices. In the music app for the downloads and music session, it's now just called downloads. Also in your song selection, you can actually shuffle all music right there. The app store is also available in messages as well. So if we tap right here, you can see that we can go to the app store. This is going to allow us to download specific editions, including new stickers and everything. You can see it's actually not loading at the moment, but it does work. I've seen it working on some people's devices. Here in the settings and maps, if you tap on this, you can actually scroll down here and you can enable or disable show parked location. So this is going to obviously work when you disconnect your device from Bluetooth from your car. It'll give you the location that you parked your car. So you can toggle that off right here if you don't want it to do that. Going into messages here, there's actually an option to send low quality uh, images. So you can toggle that on right here. So of course that's going to save space on your device. Also in general and accessibility, you'll notice if you tap on the home button option here, then that's actually going to give you a rest finger to unlock. So you can toggle that on if you wanna use that. And last but not least, we have an addition to the Apple Watch app, which you can see right here. If we just tap on face gallery, there's actually a featured complication category right here, which you can scroll through and check out for yourself if you wanna use one of those. So I hope you guys enjoyed all these new tweaks and features and new UI changes in iOS 10 beta two. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Of course, if you guys find anything that I didn't mention in this video, be sure to let me know in the comments below and I wanna check it out for myself as well. All right guys, hope you have a good day and I will talk to you in the next video. Peace.